okay so till now what we have seen is that uh, we have seen unit impulse response then unit step response right uh, then we have seen the ramp signal <coughs> then we have seen uh, uh, rectangular signal right then we have seen uh, we are did uh, uh, time folding operation then we have did time scaling then we have went for amplitude scaling right this uh, different different things we have seen uh, today what we are going to do is that uh, we are going to see uh, two more uh, signal uh, sorry three more signal that is uh, first signal which we will see is a triangular signal and then second one we will we'll see that um, signum signal okay we will see the only uh, equations for that uh, we won't be discussing this in uh, much of the detail detail then gaussian signal okay how this signal look like and uh, what is the equation for that that we are going to see okay um, afterwards we will have two more operations on the signal uh, which will come into the uh, operation of time scaling uh, not time scaling time here it was time shifting actually we seen and we are going to see time scaling over here in the time scaling we will have a uh, compression and the second one we will have uh, expansion okay so my agenda for today is that we will cover uh, i will show you uh, this uh, three signal equation and how they look like that is graphical representation then we will go for the time scaling and we will take the uh, problems on this right problems on all this so we will actually have time folding time shifting amplitude scaling compression expansion so combine of these five operations uh, signal operations uh, we will have the problems so few problems we had taken last time uh, we will have few more okay so this is the agenda for today first let me start with uh, the triangular signal okay so how the triangular signal look like it look like as obviously name suggest it look like a triangle okay so this is this will t it will run from minus infinity to infinity but the triangular signal will have uh, say amplitude of a okay maximum amplitude of a and it will be in between minus t by 2 to plus t by 2 okay so how it is it is some kind of uh, ramp signal as you can see over here okay but its equation is x of t is equal to 2a by t capital t in bracket t plus t by 2 and uh, it is minus 2a this is for t is greater than or equal to 0 and 2a minus 2a divided by t t minus t by 2 this is for t is less than 0 okay this is one second uh, function signum function or signal pulse we call it as okay how it look like is 
it will have a uh, minus one amplitude for zero at zero it will change its amplitude to one and from one onwards it will have amplitude of one okay so it will run from minus infinity to infinity right and from minus infinity to zero it will have the amplitude of minus one and from one to infinity it will have the amplitude of one okay so the equation for this is sigmoid of t is uh, one uh, for t is greater than or equal to zero and it is going to be minus one for t is less than zero so i don't think uh, there should be uh, much of the confusion over here and one of the most important uh, signal uh <coughs> which we will encounter again and again that is gaussian signal okay so gaussian signal is an symmetrical signal uh, symmetrical signals are the signal which are same on uh, around the y axis this is y axis this is the amplitude axis right so it is uh, symmetrical signal obviously types of signal we are going to see afterwards okay but this signal look like this just to make you uh, understand i am telling you this is symmetrical on this axis okay and its equation is x of t is equal to e raised to minus a t square okay so many of the times you will uh, hear the term gaussian distribution uh, that means if i plot a data it will it will be resemble like this okay and therefore uh, you will see this in uh, especially in the data sciences okay so there you will actually encounter this that uh, what is the gaussian distribution and therefore it should uh, resemble to this gaussian signal and this understand this this will not go to zero okay so it is assumed that at infinity at minus infinity and at infinity it will go to zero okay otherwise it will go it will be just decreasing like this okay something like this i hope i'm clear okay so this is a uh, gaussian signal so it is uh, assumed that at minus infinity and at infinity its value becomes zero till that it actually runs parallel to the x axis okay so now these are the signals which i wanted to introduce to you uh, these are uh, uh, these are used but uh, these are rarely used uh, in the operation uh, what are the signal which we had seen over here that is unit step and the ram signals are uh, and also the uh, rectangle uh, signal these are uh, frequently used signals uh <coughs> as i told you that uh, i am going to introduce another uh, here i had told you that i am going to introduce another operation for you in fact this operation is has two parts okay so that is a uh, compression and expansion so totally we have five operation on the signal out of this we will see these two this is the last two uh, operations which we are going to see apart from this uh, understand this so there are a couple of more operation that is addition subtraction uh, then um, multiplication and obviously division okay so these two these four operations are there but to perform this four operation you write uh, required multiple signal okay you require multiple signal this five operation generally you perform on a single signal right and this um, if you have uh, more than two or more than two uh, signals you perform these four operations okay so these four operations are on the multiple signals so two or more signals if you have you can do this operations if you have a single op a signal uh, this five operation basic operation you perform okay so let us start with uh, time scaling okay and uh, 
I will not directly tell you that first I want you people to uh, just to uh, analyze how the signal will look like okay I will give you uh, two option for this uh, uh, how this signal should look like first operation is uh, compression okay suppose I have a signal which will run from say minus 2 1 is minus 1 0 1 minus 2 and its amplitude is 1 okay so the signal uh, x of t is equal to 1 for t is greater than or equal to minus 2 and is less than 2 else 0 right so this is the equation for whatever the signal I had drawn okay tell me uh, if I do something like this if I do x of 2 t okay so I am giving you two options how it will look like you have to tell me obviously I am going to explain it uh, afterwards but first I want you people to think so first is it will look like this minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 with amplitude 1 this is first option second option 1 2 3 4 minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 1 2 3 4 it is like this and with the amplitude 1 this is option B so if I write x of 2 t whether it will be the first one or the second one so uh, either a or b that you have to put in the chat box i hope my uh, question is clear to you yes no yes, yes sir. sir yes sir okay so whether it will be a or b that i want to uh, know for from you directly i could have told you but i want you to think first then i will tell you how to think about it First, I want your opinion that whether it will be A or B. Put in the chat box. Anything, whatever you feel like. B. Okay. Uh, so, someone had said A. I guess only one Smita only had said A. Uh, okay. Others are saying B. Okay. Okay any option uh, opinion which you have you can put over there I am not here to look for uh, right or wrong I am here to just to see that if you are thinking or not okay Aditya, Chaitanya, Shubham, Abhishek, Anuj, Ajinkya, Ruturaj, Sneha, Mayuri, Sapna, Kunal, Sraddha, Prerna, Anil, Kedar and Mayuri is saying B and Smita is saying A what about others or others don't have an op any opinion B Ria is saying B okay good I'm seeing a really good number of students uh, I'm s happy that you are actually thinking about this so just is also saying B okay so let me just sh tell you how it looks like now uh, here uh, I will take a liberty and I will start with uh, the uh, uh, instead of continuous signal I will start with the DT signal okay discrete time signal okay so suppose my signal is something like this at 0 it is 0 at 1 it is 1 at 2 it is 2 at 3 it is 3 and at 4 it is 4 okay similarly at um, say minus 1 it is 1 minus 2 it is 2 minus 3 uh, sorry this is 3 at minus 3 and uh, 4 it is at minus 4 it is 4 it is something like this okay let's consider this x of t uh, x of n okay and our equation is y of n is equal to x of 2n okay so this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 okay so tell me what will be uh, y of 0 
can anyone tell me what will be y of 0 0 yes it is y of 0 but i want in terms of uh, x so it will be x of 0 right if i'll put uh, <coughs> if i'll put uh, n over here right so y of 0 is going to be x of 0 right so y of 1 can x i of 2 no x of 2 no x of no it is completely wrong it will not be x of 2 x of 1 yes yes uh, sorry uh, one if i'll put one yes it is x of uh, sorry is yes it is x of 2 yes you are absolutely correct it is x of 2 right right and uh, can you tell me what will be the x of uh, y of 2 x of 4 x of x of 4 x of 4 right so this is for the positive similarly i can do it for negative also y of minus 1 is going to be x of minus 2 minus 2 y of minus 2 is going to be x of minus 4 minus 4 minus 4 am i right have you understood it this operation anyone who yes, has not sir. understood please you can raise your hand or you can ask me to explain this again anyone who have not understood uh, you can raise your hand and or you can unmute yourself and you can tell me to repeat this okay so x of 0 uh, right x of 0 is going to be uh, sorry y of 0 is going to be x of 0 y of 1 is going to be x of 2 right and so on so if i plot this how it will look like okay i will just plot it over here so this is i'm plotting y of n right so y of 0 was 0 okay i can write the values over here y of 0 is 0 x of 2 is going to be equal to 2 uh, x of 4 is going to be 4 x of minus 2 is going to be uh, 2 oh shit so sorry let me uh, just let me just start over okay by Mr. I had uh, erased it anyways um, so let me x of uh, n let me draw it again so this is 0 1 2 3 4 this is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and minus 4 it is it was this 1 2 3 and 4 1 2 3 and 4 okay this was x of n right and we have established that y of 0 is going to be x of 0 screen, screen is not screen. saved okay, Sir, screen are not visible by mistake i had uh, exited that na? no yes. so, so sorry okay this one so x of 0 is going to be uh, sorry y of 0 is going to be x of 0 and which is going to be 0 x of y of 1 is going to be x of 2 as i am writing over here is y of n is equal to x of 2n okay so therefore y of 1 is going to be x of 2 and it is going to be 2 y of 2 is going to be x of 4 which is going to be 4 and uh, y of uh, minus 1 is going to be x of minus 2 which is going to be 2 and y of minus 2 is going to be equal to x of minus 4 which is going to be 4 and if I will draw equivalent diagram over here it will look like this is 0 1 2 <coughs> this is minus 1 and this is minus 2 and it will look like something like this this is 4 this is 2 this is 2 this is 4 right and so from from minus uh, 0 to minus 4 we had came down to 0 to minus 2 
and from 0 to 4 it has came up down to 0 to 2 right so whenever we are actually having a multiplier over here like this for x okay in general if i can write x of a capital a n if i'll have something like this it will be compressed by a are you getting my point yes sir right so if y of n is something like this or in general y of n is something like this it is gain been compressed signal is been compressed right i cannot have um, x of 1 by 2 over here because these are numbers they are real numbers right i cannot have the fraction over here okay this is not a case in the uh, discrete time i cannot do this x of minus half i cannot do that i hope i'm clear okay so but uh, understand this if i extend this uh, if i write uh, this compression parameter if i have to uh, again i have to explain to you y of n if it is uh, x of 3 n right what uh, um, what y of n will look like for uh, y of 0 it will be 0 for y of 1 it will be y of uh, x of 3 and therefore it is going to be 3 right for 3 uh, sorry for 1 and for minus 1 it is going to be 3 okay so this signal will look like this for y of uh, y of n is equal to x of 3n so it has been compressed by a okay so from 0 to minus 4 to 4 we came down to minus 1 to 1 minus uh, right and for this 2n we came down from minus 4 to 4 to minus 2 to 2 so we have been getting we are actually compressing the signal i hope this is uh, clear any question is it clear how many of you are understood this please raise your hand because now uh, as this was for uh, so i can see that only 34 student had uh, understood this uh, what about remaining 35 students okay okay still 25 hadn't raised hand uh, let it be now thank you okay so the next the question which i had asked to you was about this one this was zero this was one this was two this was minus one this was minus two right and this was going uh, this was amplitude was one all right and this was going from minus infinity to infinity the two option i had a given for this was x of n so if y of n is equal to x of uh, so not uh, here it will be t not n because it is in the continuous time so this is going to be also t 2t okay so two option i had a given to you this was option number b okay so now tell me for y t is equal to x of 2t uh, what will be the answer whether it will be a or b please let me know in the chat box again anil you are saying a kunal you are saying a a if many of the students are still saying a
Ankit still saying A. That means uh, there is a confusion about this, right? Therefore, I had drawn something like this. Okay. Uh, now, uh, y had what I had written? Y of t is equal to x of 2t. Okay. Let's understand this. Okay. So for y of uh, zero, it is going to be x of zero. I hope uh, everyone understand this. At t is equal to zero. Okay. T is equal to zero. It is going to be case. Okay. Even though this is continuous uh, in time, I'm going to take some uh, samples of this. So say at t is equal to one for y of one, it is going to be equal to. Can anyone help me? X of two. It is going to be x of two, right? Here I can have half. Y of half. Y of half is going to be equal to. Can anyone tell me? X of one. X of one. X of one. And all these values are going to be one. Am I right? All these values. Uh, I'm. I'm just considering uh, for simplicity. I'm considering only positive part, not the negative part. Whatever is happening on the positive part, it is going to get repeated in the negative part. Okay. Now, Sir, yes. X of two two will come, na? Why? Why? Amplitude is one, na? Here, up to this point, amplitude is one. Don't get confused with this. Here we had at one it was uh, amplitude one, at two it is amplitude two, at um, uh, three at it was amplitude three, at four it was amplitude four. But here it has continuous. It is like a step. A rect. Actually, this is an um, modified uh, uh, rectangle. Okay, which had uh, the amplitude one. I hope I'm clear. Uh, who had asked the question? Yes, sir. Is it clear, clear now, Sapna? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So don't get confused. Okay. I had written specifically. Therefore, I had specifically written over the here is that uh, this is this level is amplitude one. Okay. And for zero to uh, this part, it is going to be one. Okay. Now, if I write y of two, it is going to be equal to. Can anyone help me? X of four. X of four. And what is x of four? One. X of four is one. Zero. 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 It is zero. It is a zero. Okay. Can anyone help me to tell me uh, what is a y of one point one? It is going to be x of x of two point two, and two point two point two is going to be one. Zero. It is going to be zero, right? Means that means after uh, say zero uh, after x of two it is going to be zero. So after one it is going to be zero. Am I right? Y of one. Okay, this was the last value when we had uh, value amplitude as one. Y of one point one zero 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 one. It is going to be x of two. Point zero 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 two, right? And that is going to be zero. Am I right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That means y is going to get value one up to t is equal to one. After that, after t is greater than zero, y of t is going to be zero. Am I right? Uh, yes, sir. T uh, greater than one. It is greater than one. It is going to get value zero, and therefore, if I draw this, but for t in between, it in between this one, it is going to be get value one, and therefore, it it will look like this. This was one, and this was one. Understand this? Whatever we had written for positive side, it is going to get similar for the negative side, and therefore, I am not repeating that thing. So, y of t. Is going to be this one that it will have value. <coughs> y is going to be one in between minus one greater than or equal to t is less than or equal to one, and it is going to be zero for elsewhere. 
am i clear so what should add be in the option selected option I, b option b i hope uh, ankit you understood shubham yes sir kedar yes sir i am happy that actually you tried okay uh, let it be right or wrong okay because i know that you haven't studied this before this so it is obvious that you will get wrong mayuri kunal anil i hope yes it yes, is sir. clear to you okay yes sir okay so what exactly is happening is that it is getting compressed right signal is getting signal is getting compressed right so whenever we have a multiplying factor to t for a signal say x of t at that time this this signal is going to get compressed clear any question about this okay now the next part uh, is completely opposite of this which is expansion okay so in the expansion what we are going to do now you will be able to uh, tell me a uh, more uh, easily okay about the expansion uh, let me draw the signal over here this is 0 this is 1 2 3 now let me have a liberty and have a different signal 1 uh, say this is 3 say this is Two uh, minus one minus two minus three, and I will have here. Here I will have two. Here I will have say. Uh, here I will have one. Here I will have say. Two, and here let me have three. Okay, and this is this is my x of n. Okay. so in the expansion what we do is <coughs> we y of say n is equal to uh, let's consider that it is x of n by 2 okay so i'm actually expanding this by the factor of 2 okay so can you help me to write down what will be the x of uh, y of 0 x of 0 x of 0 x of 0 right and x of 0 is 0 okay um not necessary i understand this not necessary every time it should be 0 okay it can have any value just for uh, simplicity i had written this can you know and tell me what will be the y of 1 x of 1 by 2 x of 1 by 2 but is this a case can i write like this is it wise is it valid sample cannot be in the fraction right so it cannot be like this and therefore it is going to be zero am i correct yes no yes sir hamare sample idhar half mein hum likhte hai kya kabhi nahi 0 1 2 3 mein hota hai whole number hota hai kabhi bhi barabar hai this is specifically for discrete time if we cannot have x of 1 by 2 we cannot have and therefore it is going to be 0 okay so y of 2 what is y of 2 x of 1 right x of 2 by 2 is going to be x of 1 which is going to be this is 0 not 0 so sorry this one. is not 0 this is 1 okay uh, just this was a point on this uh, okay ppt actually make the mistake over here if i do something like this it creates problem so this is one and therefore this is going to be one similarly y of 3 is going to be zero y of 4 i hope you understood why y of 3 is equal to zero yes sir uh, yes sir right i hope you had understood y of 4 is equal to x of x of 2 4 by 2 therefore this is x of 2 and therefore it is going to be 3 right again x of 
What will be the value of x of five? Can we? Can anyone help me? Zero. 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 Right. Y, y of six is going to be x of three, and therefore it is going to be two. Okay. Similarly, directly I will write uh, for minus. Uh, minus one is going to be zero. Y of minus two is going to be three. Y of minus three is going to be uh, zero. Y of minus four is going to be uh, two. Uh, y of minus five is going to be zero, and Y of minus six is going to be one. Right? And let me just draw my. This is my uh, x of uh, n. Okay, so this is minus one, minus two, minus three, one, two, three. Right, uh, this will go to infinity, and this is x of n. And uh, let me now write. Uh, Y of uh, draw y of n over here. Okay, so if I to draw y of n over here, I have to draw a little bit bigger. It will run from minus six to uh, plus six, right? So this is minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. Uh, not minus. This is plus 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 plus. This is five. This is six. This is minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six. Okay, so at uh, at zero it is going to be zero. At one it is going to be one. At two it is going to be one. At three it is going to be zero. At four it is going to be three. Right. At five it is going to be zero, and at six it is going to be. One, three, two, right? At one it is going to be zero. At two it is going to be three. Right? At minus three it is going to be zero. At minus four it is going to be two. At five it is going to be zero. At one it is going to be. At six it is going to be one. Minus eight it is going to be one. So what has happened is that it has been expanded. I hope I'm clear. I hope you guys had understood this. Any question regarding this? Yes, sir. Any question? No, sir. Uh, so please raise your hand uh, if you are understood this.